Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see how to use Power Automate in Business Central. Before we proceed, I'd like to tell you that this is my GitHub page where I'll be uploading all the source codes whichever I'm discussing in the video. So you can find it here. And this is my blog. Here I'll be uploading the detailed instructions on how to uh, do anything like uh, how to do the reports, how to create a report builders, uh, tables and everything. I'll be updating this twice or thrice a month. So you can watch this if you click on any any one blog you will get this page if you wanted to send me an email so you can use this contact form to send the email please follow my blog if you uh, really liked it and this is my uh, playlist okay so this is the youtube playlist where i am play uploading all the microsoft dynamics 365 business central related um videos here so you can see so every week every week twice or thrice a week i'll be uploading i'll be updating this playlist so keep watching if you haven't subscribed it subscribe it give a like if you really like this video and share it with your friends so that everyone will be get benefited if you want more if you want to thank me so you can use this option super thanks here you can see this is a sales orders page so in this video i'll be showing you how to create a power automate for the existing that is a base object which is already created okay so this is a sales order list page so once if you click here no you can see um, uh, you can see the power automate like basically the automate option will be by default available for all the uh, base objects okay this is a pay, this is a list card this is a list basically so let us click on this particular list any single list it will open up the card page okay so if i click here uh, 101001 so here you can see that this is a card page okay so uh, here if you see you have an option called automate okay so if you click here the automate you can see the possible options here you have two options here one is create a flow and second one is manage a flow so before proceeding with these flows let us understand what is power automate so power automate is basically uh, uh, used to, to automate a boring stuff uh, or uh, repeated stuff which you wanted to do it again and again for example if i want to send the selected uh, details okay that is one zero one zero zero one the selected details the sales order details as a mail <clears throat> to someone okay to might be your higher official or might be your clients or something like that so you don't want to copy everything type something to your uh, and send them a mail instead what we'll do is we can create a power automate automation flow where uh, it will if you just click on that particular or that particular uh, flow it will automatically send the mail to them Okay, this is a simple thing. Okay, other than that, if you want to get the approval from your higher uh, authorities, you can get it. So there are various things available here. So that we will definitely discuss in the future videos. So now let us see how to create a Power Automate. So once you click here, Power Automate, you can see Create Flow and Manage Flow. Create Flow is if you wanted to create a new flow, you can click here, Create Flow. Manage Flow means if you want to do if you have already uh, if you have multiple flows already and if you wanted to manage that for example if you want to delete it if you want to rename it if you want to do some changes in that then you can go to the manage flow so let us simply click create flow because we wanted to create a flow so once you click on the create flow it will take you to the microsoft power automate so here you can see that this is the power automate page once you click the Microsoft Power Automate, that is Create Flow, it will give you this particular um, step. Okay, this is a flow. Got it? So, we will explore, we will discuss about the Automate uh, later once we complete this flow. Okay. So, here you can see it is asking me, uh, that is it is asking the environment name. So, how you can find the environment name? So, this is basically the environment name okay so here you can find uh, the environment so you can go and select here once if you click here it will load what are all the environment available to you so select the environment name properly you can also see that these are all optional one okay but whichever is possible you can give that for example if you want to give the environment name 
and company name we can give that okay so let us go back to the company name so here uh, we can see we uh, that is I am using Corona's company so you can find it in your profile so I am going to select the company name from here in this drop down so I am selecting Corona's IN if you wanted to specifically tell the ta table or page name that is that is not available as a drop down if you are very clear about your table name you can give that or else just leave it if you didn't give any table name this flow will be generically globally available to all the pages okay that is every uh, pages even if you open a customer page customer card you can see this flow available over there so this is the complete in this is the first uh, flow okay uh, so here you can see this is the first step okay so here we have for the selected record okay why because i wanted to send the main if i select this so whatever the card i am using if i click on that flow this particular information should be sent as a mail okay that is what my logic here so for selected record v3 v3 is a version fine and if you click on this three dots you can get some more option for this if you want to rename it if you want to add a note for it if you want to uh, find the settings so you have various options here and also you can check the connection details okay here you can see this is what my mail id so if you want to add any other connections you can add it that as well so as of now i'm just proceeding now i wanted to uh, next is what i wanted to send the information as a mail so what you have to do you have to click new step so once if you click a new step it is it it shows you multiple options you can find here various options okay so i am going to send a mail so just uh, types send mail so once you click send mail you will get more options here you can see send an email notification send email with options send uh, uh, send me an email notification uh, send an email from chat mailbox so you have various options over here so as of now i'm just going to send it as a outlook mail okay so i'll be uh, opening my outlook okay so as of now i want to send it as an outlook so i'm just selecting send an email and here you can see it's an office 365 outlook okay so office 365 outlook v2 version okay click that so here you have to specify to to whom you are going to uh, send it so this should be basically under your tenant for example if you are using your company id uh, at the rate company.com okay then to who to whomsoever you are sending that person should be under that tenant okay that is uh, that should be a tenant that person should be with your company mail id at the rate at the rate company.com if you are trying to send it to some other company or some other organization it will not basically accept as of now because uh, if you wanted to enable it then you have to request the help from your admin because of your uh, uh, data privacy issue so this is by default it is available like that okay so this is to to whom you have to send it to whom to whom you wish to send it what is the subject okay so you can type the subject for example mail from business central and you can see some other options here environment name company id if you wanted to add the company id you can simply click here company id if you want to uh, tell about the page id you can simply click here page id if you you have various options over here okay so i am just giving a colon in order to segregate and what is the uh, what is the uh, thing which you wanted to add along with this okay so you can select this mail regarding the record from from uh, table id comma page id comma and if you wanted to find some other because by default it will show you some options if you wanted to find something you can search the content uh, so what we have customer name we can just try uh, anything which, which is available here if it is not available because customer name are uh, should be sent as a parameter so as of now i'm just leaving it as such because this is a very first example i wanted to show you 
to integrate with the power automat so don't complicate just understand what is the logic behind it uh, so you can type if you wanted to salute if you wanted to include the salutations here so hi <coughs> and if you wanted to add something here regards okay so just complete it and press save you can see that you are uh, your uh, flow is saving okay this is your step one flow one and this is a step one and step two if you wanted to save something if you wanted to change the uh, name if you just click back you can see here what are all uh, the complete information about your flow okay so you can see here what is the flow name and who is the owner when it is created when it is modified and uh, all the options like what uh, things you needed what are the connections you needed and what happens if any runs has happened okay everything if you click on a my flow you can see various other flow as well so i'm just going to change this name okay i just wanted to change the name to some other name so what i'm going to click is what i'm just going to rename it okay if you want to rename it you can rename in the left side you can see the my flow just click here the three dots and okay so here we are going to rename it send a mail okay so just again save it and then let us try to execute it okay let us go back and see what happens here all runs so when once you are you click to that particular button and if it is executed you can see what happened here so let us go back here and if you click on this automate now you can see another automation has happened here so you have two option one is send mail and second one is another um, mail id okay so another uh, flow here so let us just try to select here click here send mail so if you click on send a mail okay so what happens your mail will be sent and if you come to the power automate if you sell click on this all runs if you refresh the all run okay there is no run happen so it will take okay so once if you click on that um uh, automate okay it will ask you it is showing you that is what should happen what is the thing you are going to run a flow and uh, what are the other connectors you have click continue and then click run flow here so once if you click run flow you can see that the flow has executed now come back here and if you go to the send mail send mail you can see that the run happened here okay okay so it is showing that 10 seconds ago and it is executed yes so now what what you have to do you have to go and check whether you received a mail or not so you can you can see here that this is the mail which i have received so mail from business central and uh, this is about your table id and this is your uh, page id okay and here it is showing what are the details which we have added here in the um, business central flow so if you just go here you can see in the subject we have added a company id and page id i'm sorry this is a company id and this is the page id 42 and inside that we have given table id and page id so table id is 36 and page id is 42 okay so um this is a simple example so whenever you create any uh, any power automate that is any flow in the power automate so you can find it here and if you want to manage the flow you can click here manage flows where you can if you want to edit something if you want to uh, add some more uh, steps into it if you want to add some more data into it you can add it so this is the uh, this is a simple example of using Power Automate in your flow. So other than that, in the Power Automate, you have various other options. We will discuss about Power Automate in the future. I hope you understand the concept. So sure, we will be discussing about uh, uh, the other details very soon. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.